They're camping out in an airport, but they're not going anywhere. Around 500 people have found shelter in an old hangar. Here they hide from militias who hunt down Muslims. They broke into our house, threatened us and started killing. They even ate the flesh of their victims. So we had no choice but to flee to the airport. Thousands have managed to get out of the country from here. The people left behind are hoping that soldiers or aid organizations will help them escape. The biggest Muslim district in the capital, Bangui, is deserted. 100,000 people used to live here. Now there are just a few hundred. This man's wounds are still fresh, the result of an ambush by a group of men. Suddenly there were five men armed with machetes. I had no weapon and could not defend myself. I was under shock. Muslims in the city say they've been abandoned, even by French peacekeeping troops who are supposed to protect the civilian population. They're incapable of implementing their own policies. France cannot even provide security in our neighborhood in the middle of Bangui. Most of the remaining residents have already loaded up their belongings onto trucks. They think leaving is the only certain way to escape death. <laughs>